As the title may have led you to believe, I grew up dancing from the ages of 10 to 17 years old. And the idea of running was never relevant to me until I married a D1 athlete who talked about running a marathon in two hours and 30 something minutes like it was casual. So at the age of 19, I thought, hey, maybe I should try this running thing. And it turns out that dance training produced a very slow runner. I couldn't even run past 1.3 miles in a row for maybe two years until someone told me the advice that you just have to run slower to a pace that you should be able to hold a conversation. And I thought that was absolutely bonkers advice until I tried it and then I ran four miles in a row and on a random Sunday afternoon I decided to sign myself up for a half marathon little did I know I signed myself up for a trail marathon which is very different than a road and I had eight weeks to train so let's start back at the beginning shall we Good morning. I'm out here for my third run of the week, three miles again. I actually did 2.5 on Monday because my legs went numb from the knees down. Don't know what that's about. So I'm already starting with some very tight calves. I did three on Tuesday. Let's get it. I'm dying. I only made it 2.6, but the humidity is like wiping me out right now. I finished the run. I did end up making three today, but it was a rough one. Tomorrow is a rest day, and then Saturday is four miles, which is my first like mini long run. So I'll see you for that. It's Saturday. I just ran four, and I'm dead. First week of training done! I'm doing my first long run, six miles in Florida. Humidity is almost like 90%. I'm at three, and I don't know. <laughs> I can't imagine running half marathon. I'm at 4.2. This sucks. I've craved water since mile two. Doing my third run in Florida for week three of training. I'm supposed to do three today. I'm at one, and I missed another three mile run for the week. And the day after I land, I'm supposed to do eight miles, which I haven't done since last year, and I've only ever done that once in my life. Look at this view. The humidity is almost at 90%. It's insane. It's August. Now? The race is September 9th. I was supposed to do four miles today and I only got through two. I've been having the worst allergies for like 48 hours. So before I even start running, I feel exhausted. And I was at like 0.3. And I was like, I don't think I can do this at all. So getting two was something, but I'm really hoping the allergies go away. I'm supposed to run four tomorrow. We'll see if that happens. Good morning. It's Saturday the next day. I'm supposed to run four this morning. No long run, just four. And the allergies are still kicking just as hard as when I was supposed to run four yesterday and only ran two, so I'm pretty nervous. But I think it's going away. Let's get it. I did it. I did four. 0.16. <laughs> I just went really slow and I felt great. So I'm so happy. It's August 9th. I'm in LA right now because I'm going to the Taylor Swift concert tonight. Week five of training. I was supposed to run three miles yesterday and I did not do it. So I'll have to do the three miles today and tomorrow. One rest day and then a 10 mile run. So I cannot be slacking on these smaller runs because I need to be ready for the 10 miles. So let's just knock out this three miles on the treadmill today and be done. I'm supposed to do 10 today. I'm at five, stopped at the car for water. I've already been running an hour. I have an hour left. I just played Frisbee. Put update on the 10 miles. It didn't hurt until nine, it was on mental. Basically, it went way better than I thought it would go. And at this point, I actually could imagine running the half marathon. It's week six, supposed to do, well, I'm actually not supposed to run today because it's Friday and tomorrow is my 11 mile run, but I missed Monday, Tuesday, so now it's Thursday and I'm doing it. I'm about three weeks out from this run, so I decided to buy myself some rewards. Originally, I was going to try to buy a running vest. I'm sure you guys have seen them like on TikTok, girls packing their cute little running vests. I went into a store. They had the cutest ones ever, but I didn't want to just stand there and try them on. I don't know, running stores are kind of awkward for some reason, so I literally just bought two goose and instead of a vest the guy was like honestly you could just hold a water bottle so that's what i got you hold it on your hand like this while you run so i get to try this out tomorrow and i got a new pair of hokas i'm so excited these are the clifton nines mostly white gray color with some baby blue and chartreuse it's so cute so i will see you bright and early tomorrow morning Good morning guys, it's 6.25. I woke up at like 6.15 to get ready for this 11 mile run. It's still dark outside, but let's go get this. 2.3 done, new shoes, feel great. I'm at five miles, taking a water break at the car. Six miles left, not bad. Long runs are a good practice at being present because when you're at four miles, you don't want to be thinking about the future and how you have to run seven more. You just have to be like, oh, I'm at four. It's just an objective fact. I won't think about the future. Should I eat my goo? I've never had one before. I'm kind of nervous. I did it. 11 miles. Took two hours and 
something the pain of long runs is not right after it's after you shower and then lay in bed and it just like slowly creeps in and then your head kind of just feels weird your body hurts you feel kind of nauseous and it like slowly creeps in and just settles into your body and then you're like oh it feels like i'm sick a little bit but it's over praise god i didn't think i'd be able to do it at all Good morning, doing my last long run before the half marathon next week. It's in one week, holy crap. I'm eating a Bobo's Bites and I'm gonna try to do seven. Or I'm going to do seven. I can't say I'm gonna try to or else I won't. Guys, it's race week. I have to drive. I did three miles, it's Monday. Okay, like I was saying, it's race week. Today's Monday, I did three miles. I have a recommended two miles tomorrow. Rest day Wednesday, two miles Thursday. Rest day Friday, and then... Is a half marathon 13.1? Okay, yeah, 13.1. On Saturday. I mean, when you make it sound like that, it's just like, oh, I'm just going for a 13.1 mile run this Saturday. It doesn't sound like a race. And then mentally, if I'm like, oh, you should just do the full marathon if you're capable, then 13 will feel small. Yeah. the night before the race. I was nervous pretty much all day. I didn't want to admit it, but I was. I think what I'm most nervous about tomorrow is I have a few people coming to support me. I don't know when I'm gonna finish. What if I'm slower than I think I'm gonna be? I don't know. I wasn't expecting like friends to want to come because in my mind, I'm like, it's a half. All of my friends have run marathons, but it's sweet. I mean, my own husband has run some very fast marathons. He was originally gonna run it and then he actually broke his pinky toe and he hasn't run in like two weeks, but he's gonna try to run for the first time tomorrow and film me. <laughs> See you in the morning. This ain't no dance competition, is it? <laughs> strategy we're going too fast already <laughs> oh, really? let's go Haley. Oh, hey, come on good work <laughs> so the race begins and it feels so surreal because everyone's just going forward so you do too my friends were cheering for me and they even found me early on on the course which i wasn't expecting at all so i'm feeling good and the trail is basically one person wide so i'm just in a little line of people running forward this is so fun one mile Oh, yeah. 1249. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you feeling good? My light path is like not used to climbing little rocks. But after only a mile, we came upon a group of full marathoners who were just standing around trying to figure out where to go because apparently the course was unclear. What's going on? I have no idea. <laughs> and after standing around for like five minutes, we finally figured it out and just went down this random path. Mile two, we have another build up. How are you feeling? I'm kind of tired already. <laughs> good at maneuvering on the rocks. Oh, thanks. Mile three. Of the trail. Definitely harder than a regular one. I feel like this is actually my first real trail run. It's my half. Haley thought it meant just a course like a trail. <laughs> I need to emphasize how much of a shock this trail was to me because when I signed up for it, I just thought of trail as like a dirt path that is man-made and is very easy to run on. But I was expecting some hills. That's what I was picturing for this run. So imagine my surprise when it's like a hiking trail. You know, there's small rocks every time your foot hits the ground. So you're trying to balance. Four miles. Really? Yeah. Yay, it's fun to focus on the rocks instead of running. True, I feel like it's flying by. Oh. <laughs> Until you fall. Yeah. There's big rocks and then there's also hills on top of that. There's even full on tree branches just blocking your path sometimes. Like we're foraging in the woods. Five miles, Haley. Five? Yeah. Aw, I thought it was six. Oh. <laughs> So this was technically my first ever trail run and it was at my actual half marathon. And so there's little ligaments in my calves and feet and legs that aren't usually used because I'm not having to balance and maneuver on tiny little rocks and not sprain an ankle or fall. Six miles. And multiple people around us are tripping. Some fully fall onto the ground and get back up. Some halfway fall and then catch themselves. I watched some people roll an ankle and then keep running. It was just shocking to say the least. Over halfway? I thought we had five more, but we have six more. <laughs> We're always calculating wrong. <laughs> Mid run needs to be motivated, but I feel fine. But on the bright side, you're focusing on not tripping and falling so much so that you almost forget that you're running. And I also wasn't signing up for a race really caring about how fast I was going to run it. The goal was just to complete it. Violate. 
Five more. But the rocks being a factor made it to where I fully was not thinking about a time, other than the fact that people were waiting for me at the end and I didn't want to take like three hours for a half, but it really put the emphasis on fun. You know, just trying not to trip and fall. And another thing is that there are actually specific shoes for a trail run so that your feet can be gripping the rocks. And I saw other people wearing them. They're more of like a flat shoe. And I'm out here running in my hokas, which are like the tallest shoe you could possibly wear and would probably make you the most prone to rolling an ankle. Ten miles. Yay. Now I'm kind of playing the should I walk, should I run games. 11, Haley. Is that past your longest ever? 11 is my longest ever. So at this point, we're at like 11 point something miles and I start to see the finish line, but obviously a half is 13.1. So I knew I needed to turn around to actually hit my mark because somewhere along the course, things got mixed up and it was not 13 miles. We saw the finish line, but my map only said 11.5. So now we're running around, there's no more shade. <laughs> it's like 10 a.m. Yeah, so. Oh gosh, this is the hard part. That Coke was so good, I want more soda now. So I start running on this random road and it's like 10 a.m at this point, so it is hot, and I start to feel a little faint, okay? I was doing fine running-wise, but once that sun was out and the trees were no longer covering me, I actually thought I could just fall over and die a little bit, so I found this tiny little area of shade underneath some trees, and I ran in circles for like a full mile, I think. But I was determined to just run in circles under the trees, because if I went back out into the sun, I just don't think I would've made it. And at this point, I'm starting to feel a little bit angry, because I was tired, and I was trying to calculate how many times I needed to run in a little circle before I got to go back out and go to the finish line, but eventually at about 12.45, I went back out into the heat and towards the finish line. And I started playing Long Live by Taylor Swift, where the first lyric she says is, I said, remember this moment in the back of my mind. And it was great. It was the perfect thing I needed to run past that finish line. Let's go. Oh yeah, this looks a little better. How are you feeling? In all seriousness, the experience was actually amazing to force myself to do something I didn't think I was capable of and then actually complete it. We did it. I'm so glad it's over. That was fun.